UK Premium Buyer's Guide. That's what we got today. There are sales active right now and which premiums are worth it and which ones are not. Today, I give you my own personal opinion rundown. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Haven here. The annual anniversary sale, as well as some Black Friday sales and holiday sales, etc., etc., are coming up for 2023. These are my opinions on the current state of these premium aircraft in the UK tech tree as of 2023. You probably should try and find you an up-to-date one. The meta of the game shifts over time and changes and BR changes, things like that. So try and find you one as recent as you can. Please take a minute to like and subscribe. I do plan on doing all the tech trees. I have done USA, USSR, and Germany thus far. This will be the UK. And I will be planning on finishing out the rest of the tech trees as well. So go ahead and subscribe. Uh, make sure you don't miss out on those videos. Here we go. Rank one, do what you want here. You're going to move these past these so fast that unless you really want to spend some time here, just go ahead and skip this rank unless you just like really like pre-World War II planes, but this is a skip for me. Rank two, Hudson Mark V. This is a skip, but I really like it. It was, I think, my very first premium I ever bought, and it was responsible for my foray into Air Arby. Uh, because I wanted to get Silver Lions and I had played previously just Air Arcade up until that point. I read a guide talking about the good rewards for bombing. I'm not sure that's true anymore, but I bought a bomber and I tried Air RB for the first time to fly out the, the Hudson Mark V out. And uh, it's pretty cool as a bomber. I mean, it can carry some rockets, which is sort of neat. It's reasonably uh, nimble. It won't rip its wings off too quick. But it's just rank two. You, you don't need it. And if you need a, a rank two bomber, I mean, then you have the Hudson Mark One. Buy it if you need it. Grinder option. Carries more ordnance and is very cheap, decently nimble, and has forward mounted 50 cals. So skip the Hudson, go with the Havoc. Spitfire Mark II A. This is a buy for me. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. You get to learn Spitfires at the lowest BR possible. I still take this out on occasion for the rank two dailies because it just, it flies like a UFO with some decent speed too. Um, air realistic battles with early BF 109s versus early Spitfires. I mean, live out your battle of Britain fantasies. It's got decent silver lines rewards uh, for a rank two as well. So this is a definite buy for me. Uh, I would suggest gun convergence to about 300 meters as you are going to need a little bit of time on target in order to get any kills. And uh, it really helps concentrate the weak 7.7 millimeter uh, fire to actually get some kills. So, but yeah, it's a definite buy. I love it. Corsair F Mark II. This is a buy. It's the worst Corsair, but it's still a Corsair and I love them. Uh, it's able to carry uh, a thousand pound bomb and ground RB at 2.7. And then it will still have 2,350 rounds of 50 cal. And at this BR there that, that you can do work with that. There are plenty of soft targets and plenty of thin rooftops. Um, pairs nicely with the UK starter pack, the crusader, the saint. And at the same time, you can fly this out for air, uh, air RB. Uh, if you do a little side climbing, I mean, it is a Corsair, but, uh, I mean, I, I would, I love this thing. I'd take it out more, but you know, rank two, rank three, Hellcat Mark two. This is an absolute buy. This thing is great for ground RB. I believe it's identical to the, uh, F six F, uh, dash five in the U S tech tree, but it has custom secondary weapon loadouts. And that means you get two 1000 pound bombs with individual releases and six H4 rockets and six 50 cal machine guns with 2,400 rounds of ammunition. If left alone, this thing could do some serious damage to an enemy team. Um, in RRB, it's similar to most US early props. It needs speed to be good, but it has a crappy, you know, climb rate. Um, at speed, it's a decent turn fighter, but you will bleed your energy off quick. Um, be smart, and it's very solid, but I think this is a buy for ground RB. Uh, absolutely dominant out there with the weapons it can bring. A lot of fun. Thunderbolt Mark I. Skip, as a fighter ground RB option, the Hellcat Mark II is better and at a lower BR and for the cost of just two 50 cal machine guns. 
It does carry an extra 500 pound bomb, but it, it gives up the HVARs for the M8s instead, which are inferior. I think the P47 Thunderbolt Premium is maybe worth it in other tech trees, but not this one because they have there's other options that are better. Um, there are also pretty decent ground RV options in the tech tree too for UK, uh, like the mosquitoes and stuff like that. Um, so for ARB, it's a BR 3.7 P47, which ha, you know can it can be made to work if you know what you're doing. A lot of people do take them out and bomb with them which just kind of makes me sad, you know, don't do it. So this is a skip. Mustang Mark 1A. This is a buy. Before the economy changes, it was one of the best Silver Lions grinders at one of the lowest possible BRs. And, and you get to fly a P57 with Hispanos. What is not to love? I mean, during the real share, real shatter era of cannons, it fell out of favor with me. Uh, but now that they've, you know, fixed quote unquote, the real shatter, it's a great buy. Uh, keep it fast, keep your bursts short and you'll have a great time. Um, the Hispanos don't do as well as I'd like for them to do in ground RB. Like on paper, it seems like a really good idea. Um, but it's a possible option, but honestly, you should just take the Hellcat out at the same BR and with better ground attack options. This does not have any secondary weapons it just has the hispano so buy it for air rb buy the hellcat for ground rb the typhoon mark i guess 1b this is a skip it probably won't be for sale but it's essentially a worse version than the tech tree version at the same br with the same ground attack options i have it and it's nice to take it for like the premium bonuses but if i'm if i'm trying if i'm a try hard sweat I, I want the tech tree version because it's just a superior aircraft with the with better engine. So buying a premium for a skin and for an engine that's weaker than the than the tech tree version again at the same BR just is a lose. So skip. Wyvern S4. This is my strongest recommendation for buy that I have out of all my guides. Um this is the entire reason why I have the UK Tech Tree ground out. I have 1500 matches in this vehicle. Uh, it is my most played vehicle in the game. I I really need to do a whole video on this, but if there's ever anything which I can say I've I have act, you know checked this plane out and I have flown this plane, this is the one you should be listening to me about. Want to bomb bases? Check. Want to kill ground units? Check. Want to climb and kill bombers and interceptors and even mix it up with fighters? Check. Want to bring it out in ground RB? Excellent. It has three separate bomb, bomb drops of 1,000 pound bombs and 1,200 rounds of 20 millimeter Hispanos. Check. Super fast on the deck? Check. I bring it all the way up to my 6-7 British lineup in my ground lineup. It's still fantastic. I'm thinking about bringing it in my 7-7 seven, seven lineup. When this thing can hit 650 on the deck and with those ground attack options, it's fantastic. It is easy to get the value out of it, even if you're like semi AFK and just bombing bases and killing ground units and then actively played when you're like paying attention. It has a very high skill ceiling. Defen's done a video. Every content creator has done a, a video on it. Go check it out. Does it like to turn? No. Does it bleed speed immediately in turns? Yes. But it is still a fantastic plane uh, on sale at like what? I think 15 bucks or something like that. It's a great buy. And if you can pick it up in like a combo pack where they give you a pack for free or something, just, just check out how you can get the Wyvern, whatever else it is that you buy. It's a great, great plane. Even in that's new BR-43, it's still fantastic. MB5. Skip. Watch Deffen's video on it. It is also technically a fighter, uh, which limits its use in ground RB. I just... I don't see the value. It's like the British wanting to be a Mustang and they didn't quite pull it off and the BR is too high and it just, eh, skip it. You're not missing out on anything here. It kind of looks cool. I've almost bought it several times, but it's still a skip. Uh, Hornet Mark One. This is maybe a tentative buy. I don't know how to say this other than use your best judgment here. It depends on where you are in the tech tree. Depends on what it is that you want to accomplish. Um, it is supposedly a very good JU-288 C killer. 
Uh, it seems like a really good ground RB option. I'm, I'm kind of considering it in the sales that are ongoing right now, but I've just, I haven't yet pulled the trigger on it. And I think it's just, I don't know. Like I said, it kind of depends on where you are in the tech tree. Let me know in the comments if I, if I should go ahead and pick it up because I, I want to like it, but it is kind of expensive. All right, the Spitfire F Mark, what, 13, 16, these guys over here. I've got a couple of them. I've picked up these two in the World War II Victory Pack sale. I think it's Pend Pendergrasts and Plagueses. As far as the vanilla, just premium that you can buy here, this is a skip for me, mainly because of its expense. I don't think it's worth 3000 you know, GE for the BR that it's going to sit at, which is the uh, JU288 spam BR. I don't, I don't like it here. It does have some like a 500 pound bomb, but I bought these just because they were in the pack. And if I do, and I do fly this one out, I fly the uh, Pendergrass out because it's got um, Hispanos and 50 cals, and that's a decent fighter ground RB option for me. That's how I use it. The other one I would use in ground RB, but it only has a 250 pound bomb. So between the two, you know, in my in my 5.7 or previously 5.7 lineup, I would fly out the uh, Pendergrasts and as a clipped wing Spitfire, it's very fast with a 500 pound bomb, rank five. Um, briefly about the meteor, I would say skip. I have looked at it very much for this particular sale at 50% off. I can't get there at 4,000 golden Eagles. I have other, you know, sort of options in that BR range. I'm mainly using the attacker right now. I just don't see the value in a ground RB lineup. I don't want to take it out in air RB. I don't like that sort of era of jets, the seven to eight era of jets. I don't, I don't like same thing with the attacker here. It is basically a slightly better version of the tech tree version, which I am using in my ground RB lineup, but for 4,000 golden Eagles, I don't see the value there at a seven Oh, it probably would be a lot of fun to kill, you know, JU two eighty eight, I guess, but it's too expensive for what it is. All right. The C Vixen, the C Vixen F a W Mark two. So let's talk about this beauty. This is a, fantastic buy for me. I really like mine. I fly it out very casually. Um, it has basically, if you haven't looked into it, it has four missiles and only four missiles. That's it. So there are no guns. And so you just kind of fly high and drop missiles on people. You have to get close. You have to almost be in a gun solution. I fire them at like 1.5 kilometers out and that is a near guaranteed kill. But you basically third third party people with these missiles. It's a ton of fun. It's a great Silver Lions grinder. 1140 Silver Lions reward. I take this out very casually to pad my Silver Lions account. It's a buy for me if you want to do the same with it. I highly suggest it. The Harrier GR1. Um, this is a skip for me, and I think it's mainly because I already have the AV8A in the US line. This is essentially the same thing, except this one has SRAM missiles. Um, and it's got four of them. I don't know. I mean, that's 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 close, but I don't see the value. If I was maybe grinding the UK tech tree, I could see you purchasing this. It's kind of dependent upon your missiles wholly, and it's not a super great airframe. It does sit a pretty decent BR. BR. Well, maybe I'll go through puberty one day. Um, but at 4,500, I could see it being his option. It's a personally a skip for me as I have scratched this itch with the AVA in the U.S. tech tree, and I don't want to have to suffer again. And if I do want to suffer again, I'll just play that one. I'm going to briefly touch on the $70 premiums. It is currently not for sale. It is at 11.3, which is kind of a suffer BR because you always get up tiers. It's obviously a Phantom, you know, 4J. It's got great ground RB options, Air B armament. I guess I could see this being workable. And if I wanted to just buy the $70 premium and grind everything out, more power to you. The suffering that you're going to endure at 11.3, maybe not worth it. 
I would strongly consider the Harrier over it maybe. And I would definitely recommend the C Vixen in terms of just enjoyment and easy mode. The C Vixen is far better of an option. I do see the value in a buy one and done kind of thing and grind the whole tree out, but I would probably skip it. The C Harrier FRS.1 uh, as a squad vehicle. I spent a lot of time grinding this one out. Uh, I'm really enjoying it right now to take out four aim nine L's and basically shoot bombers in the face. There's a lot of people at the 10, three BR range trying to grind out the, um, aardvark or they already have the aardvark and they're trying to grind out mods for it. It's a lot of fun. I take it out situationally. It's not as much pain as the GR one because of the aim nine L's. Um, uh, but it's not going to help you grind out the tech tree, right? Cause it only goes to these, these two. So, Limited value, but keep it on the radar if you're looking for the next uh, squad vehicle to unlock. The fact that it has four AIM-9Ls is makes it kind of fun. And that's it, guys. I have pretty much the entire UK uh, line ground out now. Um, I did it with basically the Sea Vixen helped me clean up the remainder of it. I basically had ground the Wyvern up to like rank, like way beyond when I should have been grinding with the Wyvern probably around here with the Wyvern. And then I picked up the Sea Vixen and it's helped me go to the pretty much the rest of the way. But yeah, I could, I would, I would suggest go with the Wyvern and then the Sea Vixen. And once you're at the Sea Vixen, you can get into this range. And then I would just put a talisman on whatever your favorite one is from here and grind it the rest of the way. There's not a lot of great options in top tier for UK. We don't have a 12 0 option yet. So I'm kind of curious what they're going to add, possibly something they're going to add here. Um, so I'm, I'm excited uh, about the future of the UK tech tree. Uh, until then, I'm going to play the Tornado F3. So that's it for, it for now, guys. If you're still here, please like, subscribe, make sure you've done all that. Next up is going to be probably Japan. I have a ton of J Japanese premiums. So Japan or China or something like that. I'm going to try and do them all. So go ahead and like, subscribe, and... Uh, let me know in the comments where I'm off base or your personal favorite opinion or thing like that. We're in the middle of this sale, so I'm going to try and turn these around. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.